Today, with old curtains, a little imagination, and a lot of sewing, we finally finish the bed crown. Selma and Ian are on fire in the downstairs loo. We choose frames for Andy's watercolours, but we're grieving a loss at Lalande. Hi, I'm Stephanie, and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and am regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. Once again, I have several gentlemen in my room faffing with twelve degrees. It's every woman's dream, actually. Let's not too late, but any more. Yeah, don't put weight on it until yeah. we have chains up, but... Uh, I survived the night, so really happy about that. Okay, I can see already that I'm going to like this. Okay. Oh, I really like it. Uh, Michael's now disappeared entirely and... I won't be doing that, Michael. It'll just be on the corner. Okay. In fact, I can make it less heavy for you by hooking it as it will be hooked. Okay, that's, that's a pretty good idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, I really like it with you two there. Honestly, it makes it so much better. Hang on, I have to take a photo. Wow, that is... Yeah, so yeah. I've taken a photo and that's going on my Instagram. Um, I love it. I love it with the curtains. It totally makes it... Yeah, it ties it all together. Now, the curtains, if I remember correctly, are far too big. I mean, there's way too much fabric yeah. being draped up there. And they're incredibly heavy. Yeah, so... Need two chains. Yes. <laughs> One of them could do both curtains and the other could be a bedspread. Well, or, or a headboard. Or uh -huh. po posts. I've got an idea. No, it's not a four poster, Michael. Michael keeps trying to turn it into a four well, poster. It's only a two poster because there'll only be two posters. <laughs> I mean, I like that you're thinking big, but I quite like the elegance of. I mean, there's already a lot going on. So, why did you make one into a bedspread? Yeah. And then the other one you cut it in half. And for the lining, you need to use some more, more material of that. I don't think I have enough of that, but I probably have other twelve. Just at the top, so like that continues. Yeah. Maybe. Ooh. Yeah. That's great. This is crazy how much fabric there is. Mm. And then, oh wait, wait, wait. It comfortably does the whole bed. I love it. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect. Yeah. You hadn't seen those, had you, Michael? No. I bought them there in Antique Fabric, um, and I got them at the Antiques Fair in Bordeaux. Gosh. Gosh. Gosh, I say. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll need to be mixed with much lighter ones as well. Yes. So too dark. And bigger ones. Okay, you ready for this? You ready, everyone? Yes. Boom! Yes. Oh, look at Beautiful. that. Thank you. Thank you for your enthusiasm about the 12 pillowcase, Michael. This one you had lying around in your fabric stash. Oh, yes, which... and I see it's got pins in it now. Yeah. Something's well, afoot. It's a pillow, but it's got a hole in the front. Yeah. There. And lots of holes in the back and okay. stains. So I'm probably going to center the central print and then... Okay, so let's see how that would look smaller against it as well. A little smaller pillow. It's annoying because I really like that colour against this one. Yeah. yeah it's lovely. Yeah, it's not good. sure with that one. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Both look great on the chair. Mm. We'll make lots and lots of twelve cushions. It's a good print. The one with the fountain? Yes. I see it as the fountain of youth. The goat herd's fountain. Not the goat herd's fountain, the fountain of youth. I think it's perfect. I just need to take the actual pencil pleats out of mm -hmm. the top. Hem the bottom. Because this is the curtain. This is the curtain, but it's the right width for this. But who had such wide bed? Who had such wide windows? I don't know. My aunt gave me the curtains, but I think she bought them as they are 
to oh. put in her house one day and never used them and then gave them to me and I love them. I love the fact that they've got raspberries growing on them or blackberries, I can't quite tell. Oh uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm so happy, I can't wait to see the curtains up. Yeah. I think I'm gonna start working on them. And also there's some bits here um, where they've obviously been, some of the wood has come off and that was an old repair. Anyway, I can see a very ancient nail mm -hmm. that was clearly holding it on after a previous repair, but it's it's gone now. So here and here, the wood is showing. I need to just touch that up. Yeah. But I don't want to change it too much because that's that's the old... Um, Gilding. Yeah, so just little, little repairs here and there. I am so excited about this. I'm decided to work on my bedroom floor because uh, I can't see what else is going to be big enough for this. My plan, rather genius plan, is just to cut them in half. I'm getting on very well with the unpicking end look. I love it when working on curtains and you find exactly what oh. the fabric is. It's the Floral Twirl by Colfax and Fowler. Copyright 1994. That's two years before I was born. Quite a vintage. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you've never existed in a world that didn't have this pattern in it. Yeah, I've only ever seen it for the first time. Like, but it was there the, all along. It was. Mm. Mm. Waiting, waiting to be introduced to you. <laughs> the Colfax and Fowler is a lovely company. Mm -hmm. uh, started by Sybil Colfax and John Fowler. John Fowler is one of the greatest designers of English country house style. Mm -hmm. He worked with Nancy Lancaster, who did this beautiful yellow room. Which is that the, the woman who... Uh, ended up living in one room with the huge yeah, bed. Yeah, with and... a massive yellow yeah, full of notes. That's exactly right. A beautiful room with just one huge bed. Uh, it's an absolutely vast room, and I sometimes think it would be lovely. When I have moments where the chateau's overwhelming, I think of that sort of a bed set, the Nancy Lancaster bed set, which is just in as grand as a chateau, but just <laughs> one room. <laughs> yeah, so now I know where I could get more of this, because... I suspect now that I have the name, I can find more if I ever need more for a chair or for anything else. That'd be lovely. Or if I ever redo the actual curtains in the room. Mm. Could use that or could use another one again. True. Well, look, I've made a right mess because now I've lost the scissors. Where are the scissors? On the bed. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Hey, yeah. Yes, it's going really well. <laughs> Just going to get rid of this lining. I've decided to take every other pleat out, which I will do with my favorite tool, the trusty unpicker. This involves going through the seams, like pulling apart the pleat and removing those stitches so that I can completely, I've done the back already, completely pull it apart. There, first pleat unpicked. So I've decided to leave the first one, unpick the second one, leave the third, unpick the fourth, and so on. So, you next. I've made it to the halfway point of the fabric, unpicking every other pleat and folding it onto itself so that I have a doubled over curtain. Let's see. Okay, this is freakish luck. I needed 61 centimetres. It's 62 centimetres, and I'll have to make a little seam here, so I'll lose a centimetre here. It is exactly the right width. That is really fluky. I can't believe my luck. I'm ready to cut the curtain in half, which is, I've marked it with a pin here, all the way down this stripe of flowers. So I'm just going to not panic and start cutting. It does actually feel a bit scary and naughty to be doing this. That's it, it's cut. I have two separate curtains and I have to take them downstairs now first to iron all of these into proper box pleats now. Oh, that is beautiful, Selma. Selma! Yeah. Oh, yes, I like that very much. Yeah. So very much. Mainly time in the treatment so that you don't... Yes, I know that the woodworm is all old, but the fact is it's from our own woods. Yeah. And so that's beautiful. So they can See? plaster it and do this and then it's... Uh, so I finished that today. Yeah. The corners. Great! And then I think hopefully they'll plaster. Yeah, and I now have to fill four for here, so I can yes. finish this too. This is great. <laughs> We're getting that. And then we need uh, some lock, eh? <laughs> yeah, I definitely need a lock. That's because this, this looks terrible. 
Yeah. yeah. We need something yeah, new. Yeah, we need something new. Exactly. I'll look for yeah. something. I think it's going quite well. I've managed to iron out the old pleats quite nicely. So I'll be sewing them together like this. That'll be one curtain. I like days like this. It's a very peaceful day. I've just heard horrible, horrible news. And I, I didn't want to share it with you because I know that so many of you watch this for escapism and and to get away from any problems but Petit Pois has disappeared, our pea chick and I've just heard that Kirsty spent the whole morning looking for the pea chick and Sif has been looking too. We just couldn't, we couldn't get her to stay in the shelter. We kept putting it over her, we put the shelter near the kitchen door, we even locked the kitchen door so that no humans would disturb her. She wouldn't stay there and because they're free, I can't keep them safe. I can't, I can't bear the thought of a bird in an aviary, especially not a bird the size of a peacock. They roam the whole property. I was so worried that this would happen. Last year, we actually also, after the death of um, the first pea chick, one of the others did disappear for the whole night and he came back the next day. But I think this one's too young for that to be the case. I I don't have any hope. Kirsty's really upset. She spent hours just searching. There's no sign of the pea chick at all. I'm so sorry to have to tell you this. Kirsty? Hello. Oh, I wanted to come and chat to you. I've heard that you were searching for that poor pea chick all morning. Yeah, it's, there's no sign of it, unfortunately. Um, we've been up through the woods in the back and everywhere that they tend to hang out. And unfortunately, oh, it's horrific. They can't find it. So it's so sad. I'm trying to work out what we can do in future because there's no mm. way that we can pen them in. But they have a great free range life. Oh, really. I know. It's, it's one of those things, but. I'm wondering if perhaps next time she has mm. chicks, if we can just try and very, very gently walk her in here, like yeah. herd her. We can enclose her. In, yeah, she'll be able to come space, and go, yeah. but the pea chicks won't because they don't fly yet. So maybe no. at least they'll be safer in the walled garden. Just for the first couple of weeks, maybe, just so I'll she's... give them something of a head, yeah. head start. I'm really sorry. It's really oh, sorry. Oh, everyone in the house is so upset. Mm. Yeah. I keep telling myself at least he had such a happy life whilst he was alive. Well, that's it. Yeah, it was, it was completely free and yeah, it's just very sad. The weather's reflecting our mood today, isn't it as well? It's not it, a great day for gardening. It's, it's been torrential all morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit damp. <laughs> How are you getting on out here? Yeah, it's not so bad, not so bad. Um, at least we're saved having to water before the manifold arrives. I know, it's quite, it's still very... <laughs> The irony is still a big thing. <laughs> yeah, just got some cucumbers. This These morning. are the first ones. These are the very first. Yeah, this, that's a particularly magnificent cucumber. I think they're a pretty good size. I, I like them when they're little. Anyway, they taste yes. better, a bit sweeter. Oh, great! Um, yeah, and the courgettes are ready. There's lots of stuff really. Well, I'll take the yeah. cucumbers in. Do you want yeah, to keep sure. one here? Keep one. You've got to taste one of the first cucumbers. Oh, can I? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> that's really cute. Cool. That's salad today. It's brilliant. Thank you. Philip, <laughs> this is so sweet of you. Thank you. I hope it cheers you up a little bit. It does, actually. It's so pretty. This is really, really sweet of you. You're it's welcome. all my favourite things. I'm going through a phase at the moment of liking sandwiches of roast pork with Bernays sauce, <laughs> which is tarragon mayonnaise basically. That's really sweet. Thank you. You're welcome. And it's so pretty and you've used all of your crockery. <laughs> <laughs> I really like the tray. Me too. That's the newest addition. To oh, so people haven't seen your tray. No. On eBay, Philip found the matching tray for his set. You can't wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Well, I'm going to eat this and I'm going to pull myself together and then we're going to go to town because we've got to go and meet Andy at Brico Marché. All right. Thank you. This is this is helping. I'm going to help this. I'm going to cheer up. Bon appétit. Merci.
I have had my lunch. I am feeling much, much brighter and I'm ready to go to Brico Marché. I'm going to take some lovely Toile de Jouis with me that need framing for the bedroom so that they can be getting on with the framing whilst I'm getting on with the curtains. I have brought all of the old antique Toile de Jouis that I've been collecting so that I can start work on the gallery wall as the whole bed crown area is going so well now. And Andy will show us when she arrives. She'll be here any minute. She is bringing some of her stunning watercolors of the bedrooms at La Lame, which I just, I'm so in love with. Because I think she doesn't just capture the look of the room, she captures the feel of it. She's so talented. But, well, first, Philip, let's, uh, let's get started on finding lovely frames for these. Great. So the first batch that I've brought for framing are the three American twirls, which I love about the founding of New Amsterdam. Then this stunning one, L'Agréable Le Sens, is just a little fragment of balance. And I think my favorite story of them all, which I talked about in the Toile de Jouy video, is this one, which is the miller, his son, and the donkey. It's the fable whereby however way they bring the donkey to market, they get ridiculed. In this instance, the son is riding the donkey and his father, who's much older, is walking and the locals are saying to him, how dare you leave your poor old father walking when you're riding the donkey? And in every single configuration between them and the donkey, they're being ridiculed. And the moral of the story is just stick to what you want to do because people will ridicule you whatever. And I think that is a perfect life lesson for anyone, but most especially vloggers or anyone who's doing something publicly on social media. We're trying out different frames. Andy has arrived. Yeah. Hi, Andy. Hello, everybody. <laughs> hey, nice to see you all. <laughs> and this is me. <laughs> this is the moment I've been waiting for. Oh, they are beautiful. They're so beautiful. Yes. Chambre Perse. Donc on est sur de l'ouverture vert. Oh. <laughs> Bonne maman. Yeah. Chambre de Roger. Yeah. Rose. Uh, oh. Rose. Yeah. They're, they're spectacular. Yeah. I'm wondering about the Grand Salon. Yes. Yes. Especially when oh, we have the old yeah. panelling. Uh, oh, I think this could look amazing yeah. hanging on the gold. old Should be gold. Oh, oh it's wow. just lovely. Yeah. yeah. The depth it's 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 it. Yeah. We tried a gold one, but yeah. look, the gold I think doesn't. It's so shiny. Yeah, it, it doesn't yeah. blend into the painting in the same yeah. way. It's weird yeah. how it has yeah, such it's so important. Instant right? effect. Mm -hmm. yeah. I actually it's don't so mind that because it brings the curtains out quite nicely, that one. I don't think no, maybe, so yeah, maybe the yellow. Yeah, the yellow, I think. What do you think, Andy? Oh, yeah, there's I sunshine think in the room, yes. isn't it? That's the yellow. Grey, yeah, yeah, too sad. Yeah. Okay, no grey. The blue is not bad, but the green is also not bad. Uh, uh, do you have the idea of hanging them all together? Yes. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're having a nightmare finding the frames. Oh. So Philip is now uh, uh, making new frames. Mm. It's turning. Yeah. 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 But, then, uh, then it's putting two frames together. Yeah. Then there are more drawings. I'm wondering if that one has a bit too much grey in the uh, moulding. Yeah. Is it monkey yeah. That's Noticing. not bad at all. Yeah. I think size wise, I prefer that over that. I do rather like that actually. Yeah. Yeah, I do like yeah. it. It's happier, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it's more light. Oh, that's really nice on that one. Yeah. I think it works on all of them. That has that's been a nightmare. nightmare. No. It has been a nightmare. <laughs> We've looked oh. at every single one. <laughs> Look, there's a lot of frames. What a step here. off. And we, we, yeah. well, and we hang most of them back. So <laughs> we're hang yeah, and the only way of doing it is to put yeah. two frames together, one on top of the other, making yeah. a frame both light enough and big enough and simple enough. Sort of to let yeah. the paintings speak for themselves. Yeah. But I think we did well. I yes. think that's... You did this one, didn't you, Philip? Was this a, was this yes. a Philip special? Yes. It's very nice. Yeah. And against the panelling in the Grand Salon. Yeah. It'll be stunning because I would like it's these to be lovely. in the Grand Salon. Yeah. We're pleased! Good. Very, very, very happy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I am officially impressed. I'm no really sooner has Selma finished than you're moving in. 
Well, I thought this would take a few days. I'm amazed. We've had it in the diary for a while, as yeah. you know. You are ready so, to pounce. Yes, we've actually, the words are going to, we actually need four pages of diary now to actually watch the class of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so, and now he is in here. Preparing it all. I love seeing you up a ladder. <laughs> it's one of my favourite sights in this world. <laughs> <laughs> a special shower for you, Steph. Look at that. Oh. Than me. <laughs> <laughs> How long do we need to leave the plaster to dry? Oh, it's warm, isn't it, in here? So yeah. I would say by the end of this week. There we How go. exciting is this? <laughs> Plastering oh. everywhere. <laughs> There's Sif. She's been looking a little lost. She looks a little better now. Here, I'm going to give her some croissant. There you go. No, Thor, you can have some of your own, Thor, there's enough. Where are the scissors? <laughs> what, like, every time I turn around, <laughs> where are the scissors? Where are the scissors? I don't have the answer for you now. How but... is that possible, Philip? Your job is to keep constant, permanent track of those uh, scissors. You'll oh, yeah. the unpicker <laughs> and... Oh. I just found the scissors behind you. Okay, scissors, unpicker. We are good to go. Well, Great. Good luck. Thank you. I'm continuing with Caddo. Oh yeah, good luck with that. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Honestly, I could spend every day doing this. I have removed half of the interlining. It's actually half gone there. And I have removed half of the heading tape except for within the pleats the heading tape's gone on this side so it means that we only have one thickness of heading tape when I fold it over and now I'm going to attach these together to create one curtain you're quite far I, I am actually quite far I just carried on all the way down and I'm going to go round the corner and okay. then that's the first curtain made. So I can't wait to I see I was wondering it, it was so on. quiet here because I'm editing next door and I so didn't hear a word. Really, when I'm being good, I'm very quiet. That's how you can tell. <laughs> when I'm being good. Usually loud. <laughs> good no, I, needed, I needed a quiet day on pee chick day. It's just yeah. a quiet time to sit and do something. I think there's something about hand stitching that's very calming and it's so rewarding when you see it finally up that's the best bit it's all worth it for that so I cannot wait until I can try this up there and I want to do that before dinner so I have to sew faster. Now Philip is just pinning where each of the hooks is so that I know where to sew the eyes. Thanks so much Philip. You're welcome. How do you feel about poor pea chick? It sucks. Yeah it really does. Really he was does. really cute and I loved his big feet. I know. Oh, don't, 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 because it's just going to upset me. I'm going to carry on with the sewing. Just in memoriam. I have 15 minutes before dinner with the guests, so it is a race against time to get this one up. I think we're going to make it. You look, you look a little worried that it's not going to hold the weight. That's why I'm standing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hook the side up as it will be hooked. See how it looks. Does it feel as though you can let go? I think so. I don't think it's put much weight on it, actually. I think most of the weight's gone onto the headboard. <laughs> Gingerly step back. Come and see how it looks. Oh, it looks really good from the side. It looks great. I'm quite it excited. Yeah, I, actually, yeah, I really like it. It finishes it really nicely. Yeah. The weather's cleared up just in time for dinner with our guests outside. And I'd like to believe that Petit Pois is happy somewhere over the rainbow. Welcome <laughs> to dinner. I've started you off with a toast on avocado cream and reduced radish. And then there is gravlax, something I have from my home country, Norway. So sort of marinated smoked salmon with honey and mustard and dill. Thank you so much, Mahi. It does look pretty on the plate. I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Roasted chicken, marinated in honey and lemon, and then some mixed veggies with um, turnips, carrots, and potatoes. And then we've got hummus because we love hummus in this house. Um, salad with beetroot and um, nectarines. Thank you, Marie. Thank you. Thanks, Marie. I have just 
finished sewing the last curtain and Philip's about to fill it up. I just couldn't stop myself. I had to make the other one. How could I possibly go to sleep without the second one on? Thanks, Hego. Thank you. Beautifully ironed, that is. Yeah, My midnight that. ironing is truly excellent. <laughs> You've just finished Keto, haven't you? Literally just finished Keto. Okay, well, our timing is exquisite. <laughs> I'd been so frustrated if I'd finished and I hadn't been able to fit it up. Well, let's hope that it holds. Should probably bring me a cup of tea in the morning just to check. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Come on, it was worth a try. <laughs> it may be 3.30am, but I'm quite elated. I just really wanted to see it all together. I think it's so beautiful. Philip, thank you so much for staying up to do this with me. You're welcome. It's so beautiful. I'm really happy with the way the different twirls work together. Next job will be making the valance and making the bedspread. And that's before I tackle the rest of the room. <laughs> but I think this is a good starting place. I think it looks beautiful. Yeah, it really does. But on that note, <laughs> I am going to go to bed because I'm absolutely exhausted <laughs> that job well done you did most of it but <laughs> thanks you're welcome it's a lovely bit of draping you did there philip you're very welcome i swear philip has spent 20 minutes draping the sides i think you're gonna sleep very well <laughs> i think that even if that hadn't been on my bed right now i would be sleeping very well by this yes. time of night but yeah i'll be sleeping super super well because of it sleep well a huge thank you to all of our patrons at Laland who are making this vlog possible. Especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Laland. Yedland, Ether, Alice, Alan, Dan, Banda, Wailing, Banshee, Brian, Bernard, Brandon and John Michael, Cecilia, Begum, Denise, Behrens, Danel Benakovic, Jill Bidwell, Candice Blackburn, Candice Ned Borkowski, Clara Butcher, Paulina Calabro, Chloe Chalicani, Lindsay C. Chelton, Stephen, Sarah Cole, Linda Sue Concepcion, Erin Conklin, Zoe Dork, Sylvia Dems, Jim Demersman and Richard Paternord, Sakura Dennis, Zane Dixon, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline First, Kevin Fossum, Fifi Greenberg, Crystal Hardy, Brenda Harris, Delaine Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, David and Tong Henderson, Jacqueline Holmes and Ken Bates, Priscilla Hubler, Sandra Hawley, Melissa Jansen, Brian Kelsey and Phil Byrne, Jimmy Kemp, Nadia Kennedy, Lisa LaForge, Dave and Summer Lalande, Morgan Lawley, Angel Leonard, Victoria Lapine, Janet Huff Lombard, Marina, Frank Martin, Meredith, Robert Miller, Joanne Morton, Karen Nicholson, Kathy Norrie, JC Award, Maureen Palmer, Wendy Piatic, Frank Poposki and James Snow, Tamara Price, Amin Rahman, Tonya Renee, RJB, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Mary Ryan, Elizabeth Scanlon, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Rebecca Shorrock, Carl and Laurie Siebert, Teresa Sloan, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Monty Stapora, Sabrina Surratt, and the Leaf House, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Renee Valelli, Victoria, Jessica Walker, Brandy Walton, Laura Watkins, Lucas Wallen, James Whalen, Cheryl Whitaker, Linda Viest, Christine Wilson, Winnie de la Cocapoo, Greg Wood, David Young, and Ludovico Zordonazzo. And thank you to all of you.